Ah, Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars and I see the Old Republic. <clears throat> in the last episode, we, um... In the last episode, we did a bunch of swoop racing and got some assassination missions. In this episode, we're going to talk to people in the Republic welcome Embassy. Welcome to Manon. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. I'm on a mission from the Jedi Council. Oh, of course. Of course I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. Seeking a star- I seek a star map. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manon? Hmm. You know something? Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. You want to tell me? Don't think you can manipulate me, Jedi. The Republic Diplomatic Corps has to deal with the Sith all the time, so we're very resistant to mental influence. What's the shot? only real choice is to help me so I can help you. Alright, fair enough. We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Firaxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined, and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. Fair enough. It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manon. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. Uh, how do I get in? How do I get in? There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. Okay. What are the other ways? We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. Uh, is there another the Sith way? Sith have got the calf to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Uh, I think I'll decrypt the pass card. Good choice. We've been working at that for a while, but it's been too difficult so far. Maybe you'll have better luck. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information. There's a couple, there's some information we want on, in the Republic Embassy, and I think one of those assassins is in there. Yeah, you're Lorsal. You are the guy I think I'm here to s blow the fuck up. Um, Morgul. I will slice the computer. Reprogram cage to kill prisoner. I did nothing. No. Holy crap! All right, cool. I can't get more dark side points. I'm not sure I'm getting any darker, but hey, at the very least I'm getting paler. All right, there's the computer room. 
So you're the one who's gonna try to get into the Sith base, eh? Huh, good luck, you're gonna need it. This is our main computer room here. We got the box of pass cards we got from the Sith, but we haven't been able to break their encryption yet. We have been able to decode the numeric system they use, but there are holes in our terminal sequence patterns. Uh, what do I have to do? The encryption system is composed of six matrices. Each is based on a mathematical method. The holes we're missing are the final number in each of the strings. Most are simple, but the final two matrices seem to be much more difficult. The second last matrix has a pattern looping back on itself, or something. And the last is divided into smaller subparts. Maybe the pattern for that is within each part. But I have to admit, all this is a bit over my head. I haven't even been able to slice past the first matrix, and I've been at this for hours. I've ruined a dozen cards already. But the good thing is, we have a whole box of them, so you don't have to worry about running out anytime soon. Since Roland said you were cleared, you can use the computer freely. I'll be here if you have any questions. Okay. One moment. Alright, I'm back. Where's the computer? Use this button here. Slice the Republic system. We see the no, 125 spikes. What do I need to do that for? Access restricted data archives. Information, please. Okay. Okay, so he actually appears to have killed her. Alright, now I could slice the spikes, but honestly, fuck all that. That is a very difficult string sequence. It's not one I've ever been able to wrap my head around. What's down here? I'm gonna go exploring. Restricted access, they're not gonna let me back there. Now I could tor I could interrogate the Sith prisoner, or I could just slice my way through, and you know me. But I think I might do... Uh, I I'm going to go slice. I'm going to go fight my way. Th I'm, uh, I'm going to save. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save. <laughs> because I actually do want to show off all of the options here. This is an obnoxious trial. Whoa, what am I doing? Or an obnoxious... This is part of the reason I find this plan obnoxious, is because it's kind of difficult to get what you're after. Yo, dude. Oh, okay. Yo, dude. I'm sorry. I'm on duty, citizen. Please refer any questions to our diplomatic corps. So, Yo, dude. you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. Now, I hope your Jedi powers will come in useful. This He's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping sorry, around outside skipped. trying to get in. We thought he was suspicious and brought him inside when the Selkath weren't looking. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy, and we haven't been able to break him yet. Uh, what was he doing out there? We're not sure exactly. If you can convince him to talk, we should be able to find that all out. And I will interrogate him now. The Sith gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques, and also from forced persuasion. We have found a few hooks you might find useful. He was with another man when he was first spotted. We think it was another spy, but we didn't manage to catch him. We also seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. It would seem that he's married to a woman named Tila. We checked this in our computers, and it seems to hold up. We've sent a couple of agents to investigate, but it may be a while. Uh, what we have here is your standard issue truth serum. It should make him spill his guts in no time. But, there is a catch. A catch? Because of his conditioning, he's able to resist it at small doses. But if you give him too much, his body realizes what you're trying to do and shuts his mind down completely. If you do that, you'll have to inject him with an antidote that neutralizes the truth serum. Unfortunately, that too has a drawback. I detect a pattern here. It causes short-term memory loss. This may work to your advantage because you can try the same tactic over and over again. But if you use it too much, you may forget everything we want to know. Shall we get it started then? Yes. Hey you, wake up. Someone wants Wow, I'm ill looking. Alright, let's do this. What do you want? Alright, now there's a couple ways you can do this. Play friend to him, threaten The way you need to do this is get 
each option can either raise or lower his willingness to talk to you by a certain amount. You want to get him to a certain total. Nine, I believe. Now then. Um, we'll start with talking about Tila, because I'm a dark side bastard. Tila? How did you find out about her? Um, one moment. Talk or something may happen to her. Number two. Don't, I have notes on please, Sorry. Don't hurt her. Please. I have notes on this one, so. Number two again? No. Please don't hurt her. Right. Please. We need to get up to five. Uh, or to nine. We already have him up to five. Let's try Good something boy. else. What do you want? And I know about Good your companion. Boy. Mm, let's see. I've got him up to five. Um, if you don't tell us, he will suffer. No. Damn. Too much. Boy. We're going to start again with Tila, same... No, please don't hurt her. Same no, process. Please. Let's try something what? else. What? Now we know about your companion. What? What? Oh, this is going to be tricky. One. The gutless Sith worm is already starting. Damn. Ah. Yeah, this what? one's actually one of the harder options. No. No. All right, what happens if I just go straight? Yes. It could be. All right, let's. Boy. You're not. The only ones who will take. Yeah. We'll go with number one. The Sith will never trust you again, spy. We're the only place you have. Damn. Damn. All right, one more. No. No. All right. You're not. All right, we gotta be careful here. Damn. All right, I think I'm going way too hard on him. <laughs> I think I've only got one more here, so we're instead of just threatening. No. Yes. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna go for number one. The Sith will never Damn. Holy crap, I'm bad at this. Alright, I'm just gonna stop now. So last... Alright, I'm just gonna stop now because I'm not getting anywhere with that. <laughs> Alright, now then, let's try to break this code. And either the interrogation or the forgery, if you succeed, get you to the same level. Or start you off in the same place. Alright. Alright, it's going up by w the difference between numbers is going up by one for each number, so the next one should be 22. Accessing subtractive matrix. Alright, three. Two. One. Zero. Adds one. Should be 18. Okay. 
it's going up by times two. It's dividing by two. Exponential matrix, holy crap. I have no idea. I'm gonna say six. I think that worked, okay. Uh, I'm just going to go with number three again. I did it. Yo, dude. I, I said... Fucker. Yo, dude. Hey, great. You sliced the encryption on those cards. Bitch. Right. Alright, now, by walking back over to the fucking Sith Embassy here, and you'll get the same reaction from the guy. Uh, where is the Sith Embassy? You go back to the East Courtyard. Whoa! The hell was that? Um, how's my computer's overheating? All right, I'm going to. I'm gonna have to end this episode off after we get there. Son of a bitch. To Auto East. Holy crap! I really doesn't like this. All right. That's it there. I wish I could just teleport to those things. Alright, let's go. Uh, I have the card. And this will, this and the uh, access code the guy gives you, you imprint that onto a card and you do pretty much the same thing. So, Don't worry, you're not missing anything out by... Through the interrogation. Now, after the... In forgery I'm going to reload and next episode we'll actually be breaking into the Sith base through brute force because I want the extra gear hello yo dude I know you you're the arbiter in the murder shouldn't you be prepared I have this pass card have a pass. okay well cool let me in Actually, yeah, this is this is just boots you. This just dumps you into the Sith base. Actually, you there? I don't recognize you. How did you get in here? I have a pass card. Your pass card is out of date, Commander Gran. Report I'm to sorry, the security I just desk. Skipped. But yeah, he comes in with a fucking armada Who here. Authorize this per I don't know them and their identification. What? Sound the alarm. Alright. Load game. Actually, I'm going to end this episode off here. And the next episode, we'll actually be finishing off Sundry's, tr Sundry's trial. So, in the next episode, we will... Pick up where... We will pick up where we left off. In the meantime, thank you everybody so much for watching. This is Basilisk, and I will see you all then. Have a good night, folks.